Hey guys, I'm here to show you an app called Evernote. A lot of you have heard about it. Some of you actually do use it. And for those that don't, you're going to learn a little bit about it because I think it's a great way to save uh, all your notes, everything. Store all kinds of pictures and whatnot. Don't think of it like Google Drive, like it's a hard drive. Think of it more like little pieces of information that you want to keep and store in case you need to search for it later. So this really ties in with your Zite app that I was showing you guys earlier today. So um, as you guys know, Evernote is that little green icon with an elephant on it. So you can go ahead and you can click on that now. And when you guys first open this, you're going to have to create an Evernote account. If you want to use it after high school, I recommend using something other than your school email address and password. Maybe use uh, your um, personal one so that way you can keep it after high school. But when you open it up and you eventually get signed in, you're going to pretty much have no notes whatsoever. But here's what it looks like when you actually have some notes in there. I've had Evernote for over a year now, and I've been saving a lot of articles to it. And uh, the one thing I really like about it is when you open it up, you have um, you have all your notes here organized like that. Otherwise, you can drag them down, and then you have the different categories like places and tags and notebooks. So you can put these notes into separate notebooks, and it's very easy to do. But when you do in the over in the uh, left hand side in the left hand corner over there you have a few icons and those are uh, you know make a new note capture a photo or you can actually capture web pages which is kinda nice too but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna start a new note just so you guys get the gist of what a new note is and when you actually open it up uh, it pretty much says what exactly you do tap to edit the body of the text so if I want to I can go ahead and type notes but when I t bring the keyboard up I have these really handy buttons right above my keyboard. Bold, italicize, underline, strike out. Um, I can also, I like the, the use of this checkbox feature. So if I click on that, it'll create items for checkbox of things to do, um, to do lists, anything like that. You have your bullets, you have your numberings, and then the arrows left and right is your indents. Uh, which I don't believe, well, I do believe Notability has that as well, but in this case, it's just really super easy to do if you're jotting some notes down. But in the upper right hand corner, you also have some cool features. You have the camera where you can actually insert into your notes a picture if you want to take a picture. Right now, I don't really have anything selected other than my computer. You're seeing my computer mirrored all the way down there. But I could take a picture if I wanted to, but I'm not going to right now. I could insert a picture that I already have if I wanted to do that. Or the really handy feature is I can actually do a voice recording. So if you want to do a little voice note to yourself, I can actually create a little voice note and right there it's reading my voice and sounds and everything else and it's recording it and it's probably going to put it right in there as soon as I'm done. And it does. And it puts it right there in the note. I could delete this note or I could bring up more information about this note saying what notebook it's in say I don't want it in my regular default notebook and I have created other notebooks here just so I can um, keep everything organized maybe I'm gonna put this in like oh, we will just say my sketch notebook good enough I can tag it with different things so if you know that this particular one is about blogging and you wanna make sure that when you type in blogging to search this note will pop up and then it'll also tell you the name or the times that it was updated and created and all that stuff. Um, if I wanted to, I could tap up here, and right now it just automatically gave it the name audio. But otherwise, I can name it whatever I want to name it. I'll actually show you guys a note that I've used that maybe incorporates some of these. I'll go to my notebooks. Um, I've created a notebook. There's a learning concept called flipping the classroom, and it's really intriguing me. And so I've kind of created this notebook uh, with all these different articles that I've been finding on it. So if you're looking online and you guys are reading through your Zite and you see these articles, you can actually hit that share button within Zite and then send it to an Evernote notebook. So I have one that are uh, all the different features up here at the very top. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, I have my share here. I can actually share an entire notebook. I can make it public for the entire world to see. Uh, for those that are also interested in flipping the classroom, I can go ahead and actually include all those articles in there. Now here's the other really cool feature about uh, Evernote is the search feature. 
because what will happen is if I want to search all my notes, I have hundreds of notes, okay? I have had this account, like I said, for over a year. So I have hundreds and hundreds of notes. But I also took pictures of things. And if I take pictures of lists or words, then those pictures are actually searchable. So for example, here's a piece of writing that I just snapped a quick picture of. It was some descriptive writing that I would just want to show to the rest of the class. And, but I wanted to keep it because maybe I might be able to use an example down the road. But as you notice, this is really nice handwriting. It's fairly readable. And uh, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to the second word on the screen, underwater. Okay? So I'm going to close this. But let's imagine that I don't remember where this note was. I don't remember anything as far as where I saved this note. You don't need to. If you remember any of the words within that note, you can search for it. So in my search notes, I'm going to search for underwater, ER, underwater. I click search, and look what it brought up. I click on the note, and it actually highlights the word in the note. So that's one really nice feature of Evernote is it can search pictures that include words. So that may be one reason why you want to use Evernote down the road, especially for those who like to snap a lot of pictures of the whiteboard as teachers are taking notes and so forth. So I'm going to close that. So I really hope that that gives you a little better understanding of what Evernote does, what it is. You want to think of it a place as it stores things on the cloud. So like I said, even if you have an internet connection, you can log into Evernote.com, access all this stuff. If you have an iPod Touch, you can access all this on your iPod Touch through your Evernote app. Smartphone, use the uh, Evernote app on the smartphone and you'll be able to do the exact same thing. It syncs everywhere seamlessly, which is really handy and a great feature. So give it a try. You never know what, uh, what uses you might actually find out for it. So um, let me know if you have any questions though and I'll be sure to help you out.